Live in Dearborn tonight to explain. Tom? And it's even a pretty interesting story, and here's the reason for the strange uh, schedule. The players, most of them are Muslim, and this is the holy month of Ramadan. It just ended, so the preseason practices fell during that month, which means players could not eat or drink during the day. It's been one of the most unusual starts to a football season at Fordson High School ever. Preseason workouts are being held in the middle of the night. It's just for uh, the health and safety uh, of the kids. Coach Fuad Zaban says for the first time in decades, the holy month of Ramadan has fallen during a critical stretch of preseason workouts. Because Muslim players cannot eat or drink during the day, Coach Zaban moved the practices from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. It just doesn't make sense to be out there uh, from, you know, 7 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon in 90 degree weather and, uh, you know, while these kids are fasting and not being able to drink or eat. For a team that's almost entirely Muslim, the schedule change was logical. We're having practices for about eight, eight and a half hours and, you know, we need, we actually need something in there because it's really physically kind of impossible to not be able to drink during that. I thought it was a good idea because we're sitting out here under the lights. We can actually drink and eat. For the few non-Muslims on the team, we're told they were okay with the late hours. The whole team, probably about 90, 95% of us are Muslim, so, you know, for them to even play on the field with us, you know, they're already used to it, even when Ramadan isn't around. So, you know, they've, they've kind of got it together. And we want to thank Coach Saban for having us tonight and also providing us with some of that video of the practices. He said he also worked with the principal here, city officials, and parents to make sure that this different schedule was okay with them. Reporting live in Dearborn, I'm Tom White, Channel 7 Action News. Diana, back to you.